Hi everybody, it's Agnes again. I'm doing a viewer email that was sent to me by Abilash. Okay, Abilash has asked, though I have been a subscriber for more than a year, to be honest, I really don't know how email works with you. If it's only for clients, I apologize in advance. It is my first time emailing you and I thought the only time I would email you would be for a success story. This channel has saved my life. It's made me realize my worth and I've been doing self-love beautifully and I'm in a very good state mentally. So my older projections ended up creating my person getting engaged to someone else months ago. As I did my self-love, sending out unconditional love and starting living in the end result after almost a year in between two occasional males exchanges from my person, Surprisingly, she reached out, not only emailed me, but she even WhatsApp me. Considering when we broke up in July 2017, she was quite evident on not giving me her phone number, though I never asked for her phone number. Now, reading and understanding Neville, I know she is a projection of what state I hold her in. Now I am starting to see cracks in my manifestation. I thought she reaching out to me was a step towards success. She keeps posting images of her and her fiance all over on WhatsApp. I know it is my projection, but I cannot understand what I'm projecting to encounter this. Though I am confident that my creation has a fulfilling, is to fulfill itself, this seems like a roadblock. P.S. She reached out and she talked very lovingly, rehashing memories of three years ago of beautiful relationship we had when we broke up. A few months later, her family decided to get her engaged. Then she reached out to me expressing her dissatisfaction as it was against her will. I understand I created that she blocked me then. Now here we are, after months, she's reaching out again. I'm sure others might have faced similar issues too. If you could make a video explaining this, it would be really helpful. Okay, so Abilash, I'm going to go back to... Let me just see. Let's, let me go back to this bit because you've told your story and then you went from breaking up, her not contacting you, starting for her to reach out again and her parents doing what they were doing, finding someone for her. So let me go back. Two odd occasions, mail exchanges. My person surprisingly reached out. She not only emailed me she even whatsapp me considering when we broke up in July 2017 she was quite evident on not giving me her phone number okay so now reading and understanding Neville I know she is a projection of what, sta what state I hold her in and also what state you were holding her in when you broke up so I thought she reached out to me was a step towards success yes she kept posting images of her and her fiance all over WhatsApp. Okay, and I know it's my projection, but I can't understand what I'm projecting to encounter this. Okay, so when you want to be with someone and then they go and do certain things, and what that does is it brings up beliefs, thoughts, and feelings in us, but those things were there prior to that. So let me ask you, Abilash. Do you have the belief, I'm not important, I don't matter, I'm not a priority, I'm second best, that would be a big one, and I'm not good enough. Have you got any of those? That would be my first question to you. I'm not saying you've got all of those, but I dare say there's a chance you would have at least one and one of those really strongly, if not more of those, okay? So... Although I am confident that my creation has to fulfill itself, this seems like a roadblock. Yes, of course. So what I would suggest is work on Ho'oponopono, dissolving the part of you that created what you're witnessing. Okay, have a look at the Ho'oponopono playlist. I'll put the link down below for you to click on. Also, have a look at Dr. Hugh Len. He's done this interview about Ho'oponopono where he talks about how he dissolved the part of him that created him being around all these people that had mental illness and he was a doctor at this hospital. Now, for those of you that don't know the story, 
he actually worked on himself while he was in the hospital. He didn't treat the patients because he understood that if he was in this environment, what was around him was a reflection of him. Okay. So I will put that interview down below. It's really interesting. It goes into more detail with Ho'oponopono. And you can also work on the inner child meditation that he takes you through. It's fantastic. It goes back to old childhood stuff because that's where a lot of this stuff started for us. Okay. So, P.S. She reached out and she talked very lovingly, rehashing the memories of three years ago of a beautiful relationship we had. Okay, that's great. Good positive thing there. A few months later, her family decided to get her engaged and then she reached out to me expressing her dissatisfaction of it. It was going against her will. Okay, so you have to know that this is the contents of your consciousness, you thinking about this, what she has said to you. So you've got to delete that within you. Revise it, create it the way you want if you want to get rid of the emotional state about that. Have a look at, I'll put the link down below for revision. And you can check that out. And, you know, revision comes from Neville Goddard. Okay. So you said, I understand I created that she blocked me then. Now here after a few months, she's reaching out again. Yes. So we create all stages through our emotional state. Okay. A lot of this stuff around a specific person is our emotional imbalance. It is our fears, it is our doubts, it is our not feeling good enough, not feeling important, not feeling a priority, not feeling loved and wanted, not feeling lovable that collapses all this stuff and creates all this chaos, okay? As you work on your affirmations, work on your self-love, work on leveling out emotionally, letting go and surrendering and allowing and letting go of anxiety, fear, control, manipulation, trying to make it happen, et cetera, et cetera, you level out and you start to get something different on the outside, okay? So I hope that helps you, Abilash, and it's, um, you know, things are not set in stone, but we really need to do our own internal work for the external to change, as you probably know by now. So, yeah, try that. Start with that. And really, really just continue to say to yourself, the more I do my internal work, the more I emotionally attend to my own self-love and my own thinking in my head, because all the problems start here, but also all the solutions start here. If you start to harness this, redirect this, then you can get a different photocopy on the outside. Yeah? Okay. So lots of love and um, that's all I have to say today. <laughs>